Good morning everyone. Today I'm just going to show you the light brown and dark brown brow gels that we just got in. On Gina's right brow, I'm just going to very gently paint through the hairs of the product. And this just gives Gina's hairs some lovely definition. Now what you can do with this product, which is really lovely after you've done the hairs, is just grab a flat brush, dip it into the gel, and you can actually go in and paint on the arches and the tails as if you're using a bit of a mousse product. And then that will set and give some more definition on certain areas. You can even come in on the base of the brow just to create a bit more definition. When that sets, that will set to a matte colour. So that's the light brown. Then we have our dark brown. I'll show you the colour on Gina's left brow. So again, we're just very softly brushing that product over Gina's hairs, giving some definition. Gina already has a combination brow. And as they start to fade, it's great to be able to pop on a bit of a colored tinted gel. So again, I'm gonna go over the arches with a flat brush and just into the towel area ever so slightly just to tint the skin. See that? And then we can come in here again into the base of the brow, grab some more gel and just press that into the skin on any areas that you want to define. Beautiful, so okay. that's good. So we've got our light brown, beautiful for blondes or medium brown tones and our dark brown for those with um, darker hair and a darker skin tone as well. Mm. Really beautiful, once that dries, it'll be matte and it just gives that oomph and definition. We also still have our clear brow gels, which are beautiful just on their own, just to keep the brows lifted and groomed all day long. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Bye.